Hi, this is the Massachusetts Oyster Project. We're at the Gloucester Upweller, located on the pier at the Maritime Gloucester Marine Heritage Center. And in this video, we're going to show you how an upweller works. If you'll see, look, you'll see a long white pipe extending down into the water. That is our intake pipe. We have a pump in the water. You can kind of make it out. It's uh, in a milk crate. And that pump pumps water up into the upweller. So this is looking over the side of the pier. If you look down, you can maybe make out the, uh, the pump in the milk crate. And then we'll come over here. in through the intake pipe and that's where the water enters the upweller. Here you can see the water coming into the tank. There's perforations in the pipe and that allows the water to kind of diffuse throughout the entire upweller. So this is the upweller running. We have the water coming in, the intake pipe on the floor there and it comes up through the buckets You'll see that they have a, a bottoms cut out and there's a, a mesh. A mesh bottom that the oysters sit on. That way they can filter the water that comes through the buckets. And then once that water comes up, it goes through the spigot, down through the trough. and out the exit pipe back into the water. The reason we need the water to be constantly circulating is that oysters are filter feeders. They eat both zooplankton and phytoplankton, which is algae, and this is giving them a continual source of food. Also, they need oxygen to survive, just like everything else, and this gives them a constant supply of oxygen. Another great benefit to the upweller is that it's a completely protected environment and they're protected from any kind of predation. And so that ensures that almost all of the oysters survive. We have very little mortality, if any, in our upwellers.